Well, I figured I ought to show a video here uh, sanding this rabbit. I haven't done one in a while. Anyway, this uh, front fender here uh, was a replacement. The only Bondo I've found in this car at this point is right down below the headlight there. There's a little bit right in here. Um, you know, nice and pretty on the outside, and I can feel a couple waves on the inside. And I noticed when I was sanding this fender here that um, it had just like a thin coat of primer and then the paint. The rest of this car, as I cut through it, has multiple layers. Uh, see if we can get a shot of that. You can see that we've got the, uh, if I little focus here, there we go. We've got the rust, we've got the metal, then we have a dark gray, and then a white, or a light gray, and then a white. So it's got like two coats of primer or something, but uh, it's all factory paint. It's uh, back out here. It's all factory paint, and the only Bondo I found was just down below that headlight over there. Anyway, you can see it's pretty well stripped down. Took the back seat out, get it out of the way, and uh, get that rear mat out. And uh, basically, what I'm doing is all the little rust spots which were covering this car, I'm just taking it down to bare metal, and then I'm going to uh, probably treat them all. Um, and then uh, hit all the spots with some sealer and then uh, the whole car with some primer 2k uh, I think it's polyester that I use um, anyway we'll see the see all these little rust specks everywhere you go you wipe the rust off and it's a tiny speck but when you sand down through the paint and the primer the rust underneath is as large or even larger sometimes. Um, I've found no holes yet all the way through. So I've been lucky there. And, it's, and like I said before, it's, it's a very straight car. Um, as I take these little chips and things off, if I find one that's a bit low, like this one right there, then I'll clean that out later by hand and put a little spot of uh, some butt putty on there. It's like a little tiny door ding. Um, this rear fender had the worst damage. It has a tiny dent right there, just a tiny one. And then it had a more substantial dent right here, which I've pounded out nearly all the way. Um, and then another little one right there. Um, this car actually has uh, plastic fender skirts that protect the uh, wheel arch. They go over the top and will completely hide all that damage anyway. Um, so I may clean them up nice and pretty before I put the plastic on or I may not. At any rate, it's going to get cleaned up, treated, and painted. Um, anyway, like I said, this is just going to be a driver. So right now I'm just da in all the little spots down, and then I'll block block the rest of it um, by hand before I do my uh, treating and primer, whatever I do. Anyway, figured I'd just give a shot of the progress. We're kind of committed now, or we should be, one of the two. Um, anyway. It's uh, pretty well open. I took all the window uh, gaskets out and stuff. I understand that the normal West Coast metric and those people don't make any of that crap anymore. So I'm either going to have to scrounge off some other doors I have around here or search the web and see if I can come up with something. Um, I basically just need the lower scrapers for the outside right down here. 
Um, the rest of the stuff will go back in just fine. I'm replacing the uh, front wings with a solid piece of glass, uh, like the later models or, or like the uh, truck right out here has. You can see the wing window shape, but it's a non-opening window. Um, when my son opened up the driver's wing, it fell on the floor. It's the old type where the glass is glued to the hinges and, and it's just a crappy uh, setup. And uh, I'm not going to deal with it. Don't really need them anyway. So anyway, that's what's going on here. And uh, it's just a long, long process, a lot of dust and stuff and I still have that hole underneath here to do and it's just hammered so that'll probably be bare metal by the time I'm done down under the grill and below um, anyway thanks for watching well we're uh, winding down here for the day um, I don't know, the old saying, still sanding. I'm just trying to get through the rust bits and I gotta feather all this crap out. Um, anyway, I just pulled it out to uh, blow some dust off. Um, mostly sanding by hand, a little bit of DA work. Uh, anyway, just sitting out here running. I got it running, I've idled this thing since I put the engine in for probably, oh, I don't know, probably pushing 20 hours. Um, when I started it up, I neglected to take the old uh, fuel from 1989 out of it. I was so uh, enthralled with this, uh, this hand uh, primer here on the filter um, because none of my later ones have it and uh, if you run out of gas it's a real pain to get some fuel up here or sometimes if you park with the nose uphill and you have any kind of tiny air leak in any of your fuel lines the fuel runs back to the tank and you cannot start and so I was pumping away on that old primer there and went oh cool there's gas here diesel so I went ahead and lit it up on uh, 20, uh, let's see, 1989, what is that? That's 22-year-old diesel fuel. Um, there was probably two and a half to three gallons in the tank, and she smoked like a train. Anyway, um, I diluted it down with probably another seven gallons of uh, good diesel, and uh, it starts and runs okay now. Um, we have emissions here on this car, and I'm not going to be able to take it there until I completely run it out of fuel anyway. So I probably had it out in the yard idling, um, better part of 20 hours. And I barely put a dent in the uh, fuel gauge. I'm still oh, over half a tank, well over half a tank, and I didn't even get it completely full. Actually not, I'm just below a half a tank now. Um, there you can see it, Put it around here in the front, whoa, focus, 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 maybe not, well I'm going to delete that shit, let's try it again from back here, maybe, alrighty then, we have, right, See, the two big orange ones there are the clock, and it's been right on time since I set it. There's the fuel gauge just below a half a tank. Um, anyway, so, and it was just a little over three quarters when I uh, threw the new diesel at it. So I gotta run that crap out. It, it uh, 
smokes just a tiny bit when you rev it up. Well, not a tiny bit. It smokes a whole bunch when you rev it up. And when I did the test video, the cold start, um, she didn't smoke at all. That was new diesel. So uh, I'll give it a rev here and you can see what I'm talking about. It's not doing too bad. Anyway, I've had enough for today. I'm going to go in the house and uh, eat. And uh, back this thing back into the barn. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.